Hello everyone, I'm Gary York, Corruption Behind Bars. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel today. I would like to invite everyone today to join me Sunday night at 10 p.m. on Showtime to watch a new series called Escape at Denimora. And that starts at 10 p.m. Sunday, November 18th. This is a seven-part miniseries based on a true prison crime from the Escape at Clinton Correctional Institution in upstate New York in 2015. An employee, Joyce Mitchell, played by Patricia Arquette, becomes romantically inclined with a pair of inmates, played by Benicio del Toro, who plays inmate Richard Matt, and Paul Dano, who plays David Sweet. Now, what impressed me about this story is that the producers, the main producer Ben Stiller and the other producers of the show, worked diligently to make sure they make this as true as possible. Yes, we see on the news how they escaped. We see on the news how they're captured. But we don't always see what happens with each individual person and how everything works together to form this uh, unfortunate incident. And myself, being a former prison inspector, conducting criminal investigations in prisons, and also writing two prison crime books, I have experienced many times where I've sat across the table with a tape recorder interviewing people just as Joyce Mitchell, the woman who helped the inmates escape from Clinton Correctional Institution. So when I was asked to be a part of the show in a very, very small way as a backup actor or an extra, I believe, as they call them. I was very excited and honored just to be asked. And I flew to New York on February uh, 13th, and on February 14th, I spent from 7 a.m. till about 11.30 at night on the set of Escape at Denimora. And it was very impressive to me because there was a correctional officer coach there to coach the correctional officers and make them understand how realistic this needed to be. Um, they used uh, former correctional officers for many of the uh, backup parts, acting parts or extra parts, which I was very impressed with. And they mm -hmm. actually had some former inmates in the movie to make everything as realistic as possible. And they did uh, intense studying and interviews with inmates, and one of the inmates who um, uh, survived the escape, uh, David Sweet, he was interviewed by the directors and Paul Dano, who played that part. So I was very impressed with all that. And I met Mr. Ben Stiller in the morning, approximately 7 a.m. Very nice, he shook my hand, asked me my name. And uh, throughout the day, I was called up to do certain things. They have what they call a holding area. So if you're not on the set, you'll go to the holding area. So I was in the morning for approximately an hour, hour and a half on the set. And then I went back to the holding area where I stayed until they called me in the afternoon at about 4 p.m. And told me I was going to be the control room officer. And we were in a prison that is not used anymore, filming the scene on the day of the escape. A very hectic scene with everybody coming in and out and, and uh, uh, state troopers and Bonnie Hunt playing the uh, prison inspector and officers moving and running and all over. And, and I played uh, the control room officer for that part. And we shot different scenes from 4 p.m. till about 11 at night. And when we were done, I was surprised uh, again of the nice compliment from director Ben Stiller. He came into the control room and shook my hand and said, great job, thank you. And I'll tell you what, that was really nice. Uh, a lot of my friends asked me, where's the pictures of you and Ben Stiller? And I explained to them that we were told the rules before we went there to work. Um, when you go and, and onto the set, of any uh, show, you do not bother the actors, you do not ask them for an autograph, you do not ask them to get in the picture with them, 
and you definitely don't ask the director, Mr. Stiller, if you can have a picture with him. So I didn't get a picture with him, but I did shake hands with him twice. And he came in the control room at the beginning of uh, filming at four in the afternoon of the control room scene. And uh, he had me change my position a couple of times, and he, he had me do a couple of different things, and he corrected my movements a couple of times. But after that, it all went well. And thank goodness um, I didn't slow up the production. I was worried that maybe um, when I had to open the control room doors for Patricia Arquette, who played Joyce Mitchell, to come through, uh, I didn't want to mess that up. I also had to open the doors for Eric Lang, who played Patricia Air or Joyce Mitchell's husband in the show, and um, Lyle Mitchell, he played that part, and I got, so I got to actually work face-to-face -face through the control room glass with Patricia Arquette, with Eric Lang, and I know I got caught once, we were in between shots, Bonnie Hunt comes in as the inspector general, and I was um, very impressed because two things, Bonnie Hunt, I, I like her, and the second thing is, I was a prison inspector for many years, and she played the part of the inspector general coming in to investigate the escape. And there was a break, and they brought a chair in, and she sat in it in the uh, control room vestibule, and they're doing her makeup, and I'm staring at her through the glass. And I noticed her look over at me once, and then I noticed her look over at me again, and I finally stopped staring. She probably thought, who, who is this guy just staring at me like some crazy man? But... I was in awe. I mean, I'm a, a person who uh, served in the military and did my career in corrections and never thought I would ever see the stage of a, of a major uh, uh, Showtime film. And here I am with Ben Stiller on one side, Bonnie Hunt in front of me, Patricia Arquette and Eric Lang over on the other side getting ready to make their entrance. And I'm in total awe. And uh, I want to thank Eric Jensen for the great honor of letting me just be on the set. That's, that just made my world and uh, uh, did everything for me to fulfill my true crime uh, books and to be a part, although very, very, very small, to be a part of um, watching this true prison crime mm. event made and made uh, very well. And just as I wrote in my books, tr keeping everything as true and on point and how it actually happened, that's the way this show was made, folks. And that's why I want you to watch it. And please join me in watching Escape at Denimore. It's going to be a great show. I didn't get to work with Benicio Del Toro or Paul Dano or some of the other great actors because that was not their day to be there. But let me tell you, I'm very happy with the ones that I mentioned earlier. Big names. They don't know me, but I sure know them. And I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this series because we need to tell the truth about what happens in prisons. Uh, I have many, many, many honest correctional officers tell me that they're very happy I wrote my books, which are true crime stories from prison. And it did involve a lot of staff members, and it involved a lot of inmates, and it involved a lot of visitors, and it involved a lot of uh, civilian uh, employees in my books, just as this show will. So the truth needs to be told, and I am glad they made this movie. And we cannot bury our head in the sand and pretend these things don't happen. It needs to be told, and I'm so glad that somebody came out and took that uh, event because it has so many angles to it with, with the civilian employee. And a correctional officer is also involved in helping with the escape. You'll see what happens with him. You'll see what happens with Joyce Mitchell. You'll see what happens to the inmates who escaped. But you'll also see what happens as this whole story takes place and what mm. goes on in their mind. And that was very interesting to me. Because as a prison inspector investigating prison crime, I had to try to figure out what was going on in each person's mind. The inmate, the officer that was having the affair. And I tried to think 
like the officer having the affair to try to find out if I could gather evidence by following the trail. I tried to think of how the inmate would be thinking in this situation, and that's why this show just intrigued me, and I'm super honored to have been a little part of it. So please watch it and let us know what you think. Escape at Denimora, Sunday, November 18th, 10 p.m., and maybe you'll catch a glimpse of this old man. Thank you. Take care. Please subscribe.